and we are live what's up guys and welcome back to another episode of wwe 2k20 micro mode last episode we went to winterfest our parents found out that we lied to them about going to college we kind of got a like a, a hint that red might be hiding something from trey um red ended up going against peyton royce that we won and then we ended up going against uh riley flash and it didn't turn out that good so now in this episode we're going to memphis and i'm super excited about that so let's get into it and finally do this i am so excited to be finally in memphis who the hell is that who is ribby who the fuck is ribby who who the rib i couldn't have gotten somebody better than a rib why does it seem like it's a rib on Memphis is a fucking prank because dude Memphis is known for more than just ribs our ribs are damn good one of these uh, days I'm gonna make a video on Cutter Central about Corky's and oh so good catching up on old times has been great but we should really get going besides shouldn't we save some of this for our speech later but we just got through all the boring backstory stuff it really starts to pick up from here <laughs> I'm down for more hey guys it's so good to see Lita. you. Congrats on the Hall of Fame. This is really happening. It's not official yet. We have to actually make it to the building. They're not going to start without you. And even if they did, some of the speeches are so long, yeah, you'd true. still have plenty of time. Great. We were just telling Pac all about how we got started. Did we cross paths on an indie show early on in your career? We did, at a minor league baseball stadium in Memphis, to be exact. That's right. I knew you had it back then. Trey, not so much. What did I do? Why does everyone keep exactly. saying that? Damn. Because you didn't know the difference between a wrist lock and a wrist watch? Speaking of wrist watches, we really should get going. From my experience, this day goes by pretty fast. So you really want to relax and soak in every moment. Lead is right. When I got inducted with DX, everything just flew by. Then let's get back to soaking. Lita, if my memory is correct, you were just in Memphis for an autograph signing, but Red had other plans. I still think they should have done a little bit more with Memphis. Uh, even having it in the outside of Jerry Lawler's place, because they do set up a ring outside of Jerry Lawler's place a lot on Beale Street. That would have been a lot cooler. Like, this is just a random ass baseball stadium it wasn't even redbird you know like the actual baseball stadium in memphis they just kind of got lazy they're like oh this is memphis i don't know where in memphis but it's in memphis i don't know they just get, I don't know. they dropped the ball on me so i just want to thank everyone in memphis for coming out to the show it's always great to be a part of these smaller events and connect with the people who have supported me for so many years I'll be available for pictures and autographs starting in a few minutes. Don't be shy. Hold on a second. Can we cut the music? In the spirit of not being shy, I have something I want to say. Growing up, I was a huge fan of yours. Same here. Facing you in the ring is actually on this list I have. So I know you don't wrestle that much anymore, but I'll always regret this moment if I didn't ask. How about you skip the autograph session and go one on one with me right now? I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but who are you? I don't mean this in a disrespectful way, but none of these people would be here paying you 10 bucks an autograph if it wasn't for me working my butt off this past year in Memphis. That's what I'm saying. I wish they would have showed a little bit more. I Look, just... I get it. You're young and hungry, and you probably think I'm the entitled Hall of Famer who just shows up to cash in on all your hard work. Show a little bit more but it's not like that. I'm here to support you and the indie scene. I mean, I used to be you. And by the way, I still didn't get your name. You'll hear the ring announcer say it after I beat you. Ooh. 
So you're not backing down, huh? No. Nah. Like I said, you're on my list. I'm sorry, everyone. But I'm gonna have to delay this autograph signing until after I win this match. Uh-oh. Bring a leader out of retirement. I'm gonna be honest, I had the biggest crush on Lita. Move, right? Damn. Uh oh. Drop it on. Boom. Let's show Lita our skills. Boop. Dink. Doop. Dink. Uh, boom. Get up. Bink, bink, bink. What the hell? Boop, boop, bink. Uh oh. I gotta scare for a second. Let her get up. Let her get up. Alright, come on, Lita. What's up? I thought you were talking all that trash. I thought you were talking all that trash. Get your ass. Come here. Boop. Counter wrap her up. Counter ass out. Yeah, the fans love me. This is my home. This is my home. Who the hell you, who are you walking up on? Who the hell are you walking up on? Did you know Tex once threw a bat at a oh. fan who was rising? Oh, okay. Nice. That was the last time his dad was ever oh, let out of game. Get out of here with that. Get out of here with that. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to hit me with a spear. Lita, come on. It's just a reminder, the sliders are on the road. We'll be back for yeah. a six-game homestand next week. So come on out and support that, the home team. Uh -oh. Or the away team. Just get your butt here and spend some time. I'm money. definitely, I'm uh, pretty sure. I have two 27-year-old man okay. to feed, and this franchise is dying quicker than the house fly. It's a dinner, dinner tea. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, boop. All right, it's time to end it. I've seen Red wrestle boop, a few boop, times, and boop. she never disappoints. Unlike the new Slider Stu to right, stay serving up. Word of advice, See you later. unless you want your next bathroom trip to end in a rundown, I suggest you Counting rep. Where's my hand, bro? Where's my hand? Good match, Red. Thanks. Like I said, I like that they made an effort to bring Memphis into a game, into the game, but. Again, it's just like most of the game, most of it. They had a lot of ideas, like a lot of good ideas, but the execution, eh, not too much. It, it was great ideas, but poor execution. Just that, that's absolutely the the definition of this game. Again, I, I'm enjoying the storyline as of right now. It's fine, but. Still, it's definitely not. It's not up there with the best. It's not as good as it could. I definitely knew Red's name after that night. I was impressed Red was able to keep her composure and talk you into the match. Usually in those situations, she would lose her temper and go into hothead mode. You're one to talk about keeping your composure yeah, after what you It'll did work. that night. It'll work. Before my match, over. I have something very important I need to do. I've seen Ribby out here dancing with the kids all night, but I think I've got some pretty sweet moves really myself. So, rib. how about Ribby and I find out who's better with the dance off? Are we? Are we, yo? This sounds like some raw and SmackDown bullshit. We calling out a rib? Why? This.
would know, be really cool is if they brought in the mid suck off scene. Again, th that would have made this. Uh, All right, I'll go first. I Hit would, me with some music. Hey, to see the mid south Coliseum in a, in, a, in a game. Yep, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay. Is he twerking? Is this man twerking? <laughs> okay, Ribby, top that. Is he flossing? Oh, uh, he it looked like he was about to. He nearly. Okay. Whatever. Okay, wait. I was holding back. Let me get another turn. When the dance off is on this list, I have. I'm not crying. This was fixed. I demand a fair rematch. We're about to beat up a rib. Jerry! 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 Hey, no one wants to see any more of your terrible dance moves. What they want to see is me kicking your ass. Excuse me, I mean, sir? what kind of stupid name is Trey anyway? Okay, I get okay, I think I get, a better name would be Crossword. Because you enter the ring vertically and you leave horizontally. <laughs> I mean, with a name like that, your parents must be the type of people who, when you look into their eyes, you see the back of their heads. <laughs> you can say whatever you want about me, but don't talk about my parents. <laughs> What's the matter? You should be proud of them. Because I heard they created more tragedies than Shakespeare. <laughs> Did you come out here to dust off every one of your dated one-liners? Or do you want to have a match? Look, I'm just trying to entertain these people after your awful dancing. I mean, I've seen better moves than a blind chess match. <laughs> if you want to entertain them so bad, then how about we give them a match they weren't expecting? Well, if you keep boring everyone, pretty soon we're going to have an empty arena match. <laughs> I was thinking something more along the lines of no DQ. Ooh, you know the name. You know what? I'll take that and I'll do you one better. I know you've only been in Memphis for about a year, but I think everyone will agree that's a year too long. So how about we make this a no DQ Loser leave town match. <laughs> that is on, something very Memphis. What do you say? Style like Memphis had a lot of loser leave town matches. It's fitting your last match in Memphis is going to be in a baseball stadium because you just made the biggest error of your life. Oh come on, that was just as good, if not better, than one of his lame jokes. Oh shut up, Ribby. After I send Lawler packing, I'm going to eat you for dinner. Ooh. All right, let's do this, crossword. About to whoop crossword, Yo. crossword. I'm a, I'm a fan of your Terry, but I'm about to whoop that ass. Okay, come on. All right, nah, bro. How you gonna boot, get me booed in damn my own hometown? Kid Pilo here again with a huge match. How about the you WWE like this, Jerry? <laughs> Bink and boom, dink and rang him out. That athleticism, that raw athleticism. Yeah, Jerry, you don't know nothing about this. You're too old for this shit. Hold up. I'm gonna make you do some bumps. If Jerry Lawler ends up having to leave Memphis, the city would go into a deep depression, emotionally speaking. Mm, I was gonna Economically say. Economically speaking, mm. we'd probably be all right. Oh, taste it. How, how do I, okay, hold up, hold up. Complete the match. What does complete the match mean? Hey, can we grab a damn, oh, there we go. No, what the, yo. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, I'm trying to. 
It's the battle of the pile driver versus whatever Trey's finisher is. This down somewhere. Honestly, I'm sure it's nowhere near as good as the pile driver. Shut up. I'm gonna whoop this man's ass. Hold up. Come here, Jerry. Screw. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold up. Get up. The fuck you think this is, bro? Drop you on your head. Uh oh. Y'all get this. Y'all get this man. The Jerry the King Lawler is a hometown hero. Trey, if you somehow send the King back mm. you might want to consider hitting the road too, for your own safety. Yeah, Which reminds me, Slider Stadium is a safe space and will not tolerate bullying or threats Skr of any kind. Thank oh, you. Oh come on. Well, come on, let me do it, 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 I smell it, cheeky nandos, think. I can't believe Trey thought he was uh -oh. going to beat Remy in a dance-off, that just means that he's got some sweet and saucy moves. Oh, it's over, it's over ref, call it. One, two, and three. And here's your winner of the Loser Leaves Town match, Trey. Dang it. Sorry, Jerry. I had it happen. Uh oh, what the hell is with the rib? Oh! Bruh! Bruh! How are you gonna hit me on. How are you gonna get your ass whooped by a rib? Get your ass. I'm so. Mother. What the. I just got my ass whooped by a damn rib. That's some bullshit, man. That is some bullshit. I almost feel bad putting the damn putting this nice cut right gaming logo on his uh shirt. He doesn't deserve it. He does not deserve that nice Look, logo. I'm glad you won. I mean, you beat a legend, a WWE True. Hall of Famer, and that's huge. But you were out there playing with our careers just because you were too worried about a stupid dance-off, which allowed Lawler to get in your head. I'm sorry I let King bait me into that match. Just, he was saying stuff about my parents and I lost my cool. You should get that. Believe me, I do. But that's what Lawler does. He's made an entire career out of it. He had no idea you are adopted. Good thing. I'm sure he would have had a field day with that. Let's just move on from this. Apology accepted, okay? What would have happened if I lost? Would you have stayed here in Memphis without me? No. I like We're a package though. deal. Wherever you go, I go. Oh. But I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm having too much fun here. I mean, I just beat Lita. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> I know, tonight was crazy. Do we have beat two Hall of Famers in one night on our list? If not, we should add it. Hey, good match, kid. I didn't know what to expect after you lost to a giant rib in a dance-off, but you really brought it when it mattered. Thanks. Sorry you have to leave Memphis now. I know you're a legend here, Memphis so sliders? that's gotta Who be the tough. Fuck is the Memphis Are sliders? you kidding? I'm not going anywhere. Do you know how many loser leave town matches I've lost in Memphis over the years? Well, not that many actually, but still, that wasn't official. We never signed anything, did we? Uh, no, I, I guess not. Well, then there's your answer. Hey, you two have dinner plans? Is he gonna plug it? No, why? Is he gonna plug it? Well, you should stop by my restaurant. We have really good ribs. <laughs> Actually, since we're here, why the hell not? Actually, he has two restaurants. He has uh, the Jerry Jerry Lawler. Um, let me actually look it up. Look him up. Since you know, since we're already here, why the hell not? I will plug. I'll have some fun plugging.
Jerry. He has Jerry Lawler Barbecue. Yeah, Jerry Lawler's King Jerry Lawler's Memphis Barbecue Company on 465 North Germantown Parkway. And then he also has um his I think Legends. Yeah, Jerry, uh, King Jerry Lawler's Hall of Fame Bar and Grill. And that's on 159 Bill Street. So he actually has two. I've heard some good things about the Memphis, uh, like the barbecue. I haven't actually had either of them. Because I usually go to Corky's or Central. But maybe I'll do a video on it one day. Uh, if you want me to do a video on the barbecue company, because uh, it's right down the street. You know, let me know. I'm, I'll do like a taste review on it. So, but we are gonna eat in this episode here. A lot of things that happened. I don't want to do anything other in this video than Memphis. Uh, I want to leave it straight up Memphis in this episode. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, all the other good stuff. Make sure you tell your friends about the channel, and make sure to tune in every single day Monday. Well, tune in every single day, 12 p.m., 6 p.m. Also, don't forget about Cut Right Central. We post new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for whew, at 12 p.m. Central, and we've been hitting some bangers. I mean, like, I uh, ate some hot chips, I uh, drank some whiskey, doing some laugh uh, challenges. Uh, we react to some wrestling matches. We re uh, again, I'm gonna do some food reviews. I uh, ate the Impossible Whopper. Um, like I said, later on, I'm, um, I'm thinking about when I get paid, I might do Gus's from Memphis cause I might do a Memphis food week, um, because I would love to show off, you know, Memphis is food and Gus's is one of my favorite places. Um, some fried chicken, it's just, it's, oh, it's so good, but I'm starting to get hungry now, <laughs> but, uh, I will see you beautiful people, beautiful people in the next one. See ya!